Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the class of science for today. We will discuss about fiber. Okay. We will continue the discussion on fiber. Okay. So fibers used to make clothes, maybe natural or synthetic. We get plant fibers from cotton and jute. Fibers are spun into yarn. Yarn is kneaded or woven in to make fabrics. Okay. In this chapter, we will discuss wool and its sources. How wool is processed, silk and its sources, life cycle of silk moth, stages involved in sericulture. Okay. So let's start our discussion with fibers and fabrics. Fibers, as you have already learned in the previous class, that fibers are fine hair-like strands. Fibers are spun or twisted to form long continuous strands called yarns. Yarns are twisted to form threads. Yarns are woven. Yarns are woven or knitted to make fabric. Pieces of fabrics are stitched together with thread to make clothes okay there are two types of fiber are two types one is natural fiber obtained from plants and animals cotton and jute are obtained from plants while silk and wool are obtained from animals synthetic fibers they are manufactured by humans using chemicals examples are nylon polyester and terylene okay so we will start with wool okay wool as a natural fiber obtained from animals such as sheep goat yak camel and rabbit this is present as the thick hair uh, thick hairy coat called fleece on the body of these animals air is trapped between the hair present on the animal body air is being air uh, being a bad conductor of heat insulates the animal's body and does not allow it does not allow its body to heat to escape thus wool protects the animals from the cold in winter therefore we wear woolen clothes in winter wool has the following characteristics it is durable elastic and does not wrinkle easily this is why the woolen garments retain their shape with use it is a poor conductor of heat and keeps the body warm it absorbs water this property makes it easy to dye wool okay coloring can be done easily on the wool okay different types of wool obtained from different animals and the use of wool depend upon the quality of hair and the property of the fibers animals that yield yield wool are you can see in the pic merino wool merino sip is shown over there in the pic uh, sip most wool that we use is obtained from the sip sip wool is mainly used in india and tibet there are many varieties of sip that provides wool the flesh or the hair of a sip has two types of hairs coarse beard hairs and the fine and the soft under soft under hair that grows close to the skin the fine under hair is used to make wool the finest quality sip wool is obtained from the merino sip that are originally from the spain okay goats you can see the kashmiri goat is shown in the pic okay and angora goat is also shown over there the hairy coat of some varieties of goat is used to make wool kashmiri is a very fine and expensive fiber obtained from the flesh of the kashmiri goats these goats are also found in china mongolia and iran also they have a thin and highly insulating flesh Kashmiri is used to make pashmina shawls and other clothing. Mohair is a wool fiber that is obtained from the flesh of the angora goat that originally belonged to 
Angora, okay, Ankara, present uh, capital of Turkey. The fine hair from the younger gods is used to make clothes. The hair from the older gods is thicker and is used to make carpets. Okay, now the camel from where we obtained the wool. Wool is obtained from the fine underline under hair on the body of the some camels. The best wool come from the two humped bacterian camel. That is found mainly in Siberia, Mongolia, China, Alpaca and Lelema found mainly in South America also provide good quality wool. The wool obtained from these is a very soft, lightweight and lustrous. Vicuna, another member of camel family, provides the material for the softest coat in the world. Okay. You can see in the pics also bacterian camel, two humped camel it is and alpaca you can see in the pics as well as lelema you can see and vicuna also that provides us wool. Okay, let's move further. Yak is a long haired variety of cattle. Yaks are common in Mongolia, Tibet, Nepal, China and Ladakh in India. The natural color of yak flesh is dark brown or black the wool obtained from the yaks is very comfortable and warm rabbits angora rabbits that belong to angora or ankara region in turkey provides angora wool wool obtained from the rabbit is known for its silky texture softness flu fluffiness Blue fineness. It is much warmer and lighter than other wools. Okay. Rearing and breeding sip. The process of raising and caring of sip is called rearing. In India, sips are reared mostly in hilly areas of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim, in plain of Haryana and Punjab, Rajasthan and Gujarat. Sip are herbivores and graze on grass and leaves in open pastures. Sip rears also feed. Sip is a mixture of pulses, corn, jawar and oil cake. Material left after extracting oil from the seeds. In winter, sip are often kept in sets to protect them from the cold. Okay. So, in India, different breeds of sip are reared to yield wool of various qualities and textures. Figure uh, table 13.1, 3.1 gives the names of some breed of sip that are reared in different parts of India. Lohi, the breed, Rajasthan and Punjab, it gives a high quality of wool. Okay. Rampur, Busair, Uttaranchal, Himachal Pradesh, flesh that is brown in color, Nali, Rajasthan, Haryana, Punjab, used for making carpets, Bakarwal, Jammu and Kashmir, used for making fine shawls, Marwadi, Gujarat, coarse wool, okay, Patanwadi again, Gujarat, used in making hosiery, hosiery garments, okay. Some breed of sips only have thick coat of fine under here. These sip yield good quality wool in large amounts. Such variety of sips are selectively bred by choosing their parent to give birth to sip that yield only good quality wool. The process of selecting parents and breeding them for obtaining special characteristics in the offspring is called selective breeding. When the sip develops a thick coat of hair its hair is saved off for obtaining wool production of wool from the sip the flesh or hair that we get from from the sip is produced to make wool and woolen clothes in following steps searing is the first Searing is the first process. The process by which flesh of the sip is removed is called searing. 
searing may be done using either clippers similar to a barber's uses to shave a man's beard or or searing machine searing does not hurt the sip as hairs that the that are seared are dead okay sip are usually seared in the hot weather so uh, when they do not require therefore it actually helps the sip to survive in the hot season you can see in the pic also the second step is scoring the process by which the seared flesh is treated to remove dust dirt and grease is known as scoring the seared skin and hair are thoroughly washed in a series of tubs to clean them nowadays machines are used for this process scoring you can see in figure 3.11 shorting hair of different textures are separated from each other by shorting you can see in the picture also it is done manually by the human being small fluffy fibers called burrs are removed the wool fibers that remain are scored once more and dried okay next step is grading the wool fibers are grouped based on their length fineness color texture and other characteristics this process is called grading different grades of wool are used to make different woolen products okay next is coloring or dyeing as the natural flesh of sip and goat are black brown or white so the fibers obtained from them are dyed in various colors okay now carding carding and spinning the fibers are straightened combed by passing by passing them through rollers this process is called carding carding the fibers then twisted to make yarns by the process of spinning spinning frame is used for this purpose the yarn is wound onto paper or cones and sp or spindles for easy use in weaving and knitting machines next step is weaving and knitting yarns are knitted or woven by hands or by machines to make fabric knitting use a single yarn while weaving uses two or more yarns therefore longer woolen fibers are suitable for knitting and shorter fibers are suitable for weaving okay got it now what are the occupational hazards what are the harmful effects uh, for the persons working in this industry an occupational hazards is any risk of injury disease or other health problem that a worker in an industry may face people working in the wool industry to face certain hazards anthrax is a disease of sip and other animals that is caused by bacterium anthrax searers and the wool sh shorters who handle the sip and their flesh are at high risk of getting anthrax this is why anthrax is also called the shorters disease in humans anthrax causes dark pimples like boils on the skin and can lead to skin lungs and intesti uh, intestinal intestinal infections or fatal blood infections can also be there the chemicals and dyes are used during the processing of wool fibers can cause allergies skin infection and irritation to eyes in the wool processing workers fine wool fibers that are suspended that are suspended in air as dust can cause respiratory disease if inhaled okay so dear students in next class we will discuss about silk how it is processed and its uh, types of silk also we will discuss so till then dear students bye bye take care dear students okay